Hey guys, it's Mike from Arnold Tutoring. In this video, we're going to look at a Calculus 1 problem, which is solving limits. Assuming x is not approaching infinity or negative infinity, we'll cover that in a different video, and x is just approaching some number, there's generally three ways that they're going to test us to solve these limits. Remember, solving limits requires some algebra because generally, at whatever value x is approaching, that's making the denominator of our function approach zero. So for instance, in this first one, if we plug in two for x, we get four minus four on the bottom, and that is zero, and that's why that's a problem. So we're always going to work through with algebra until that problem is gone and the bottom no longer goes to zero, then you can just sub the value in. So the first method I'll call factor and cancel. So that means it's usually a polynomial over a polynomial or a rational function. We can factor the top and bottom and hopefully cancel our problem. So make sure we write limit each time. X goes to two of this top factors into X minus two and X plus five. The bottom, you can factor an X out and you're left with X minus two. Now it's very clear what the problem is. Remember X is approaching two, so this X minus two is the thing that's really driving it to zero. We can now cancel this with the one on top. No more problem on the bottom, so you can just sub in two and you get two plus five on top over two when we plug it in for the X, and that is seven over two. So as X approaches two of this function, Y is approaching seven over two. That's what a limit means. Factor and cancel, the first method. Second method I would say is called the conjugate. And those are really easy to pick out because x is generally trapped under a square root. So let's check again if there's a problem. If you sub five in, you get the square root of nine, which is three minus three, that's zero. The bottom is a problem. But we can't really do the same algebra here because our x is trapped under a square root. So I'm going to multiply by what's called the conjugate, which I'm gonna to multiply top and bottom, which you're allowed to do by the exact same thing that's on the bottom, except I'm going to change the sign in between. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to rewrite what we have. x goes to 5 of x minus 5 over the square root of x plus 4 minus 3. And I'm going to multiply by the square root of x plus 4 plus 3. Notice the plus is just different from the minus. Everything else is the exact same. As long as we do the same to the top, we're allowed to do it. And what that's going to do is, if we look at how this bottom is going to multiply, this is a difference of squares, right? The, each bracket is the same except for the sign change. So when you multiply it out, the middle term is going to cancel, and you'll just be left with the first term squared minus the second term squared. So it's going to look like this. This is the limit as x approaches 5. Uh, I'm not going to multiply up the, out the top. I'm going to keep that separate. And on the bottom, I'm going to get x plus 4, because the square root of x plus 4 squared is just x plus 4. And then I'm going to get minus 3 times 3, which is minus 9. Again, if you were to do the FOIL, you'd also have an inside term of negative 3 root x plus 4 and positive 3 root x plus 4. Those are going to cancel, and that's why they're not there. Uh, this can simplify so that the bottom is x minus 5, and then we can cancel our problem, sub in, and we get the square root of 9 plus 3, which is 6. So the answer to that limit is 6. Third method. And that is where we have fractions within fractions. I'm just going to multiply everything by the common denominator of the small fraction. And that is x in this case. So I'm going to multiply everything by x, top and bottom. Draw a little line here. Hopefully that works out to be... We get 3x plus 3x squared on top. On the bottom, x over x is just 1 plus x. And we still have an issue. If you plug in negative 1, the bottom still goes to 0. But on the top, we can now factor. We can take out a 3x, and we're left with 1 plus x. Now this is going to cancel our problem. Sub in now because the problem's gone, and we get negative 3. So three really solid methods, factor and cancel, multiply by the conjugate, or multiply by the common denominator. Really easy way to solve limits. Thanks so much. You can always send us more questions to info at arnoldtutoring.com.